Welcome to this Steagall video about the image capabilities in new Google Sites. You can upload or paste multiple images all in one go. Let's see how that works. This is one of our existing classic Google Sites. We're going to copy three images from there. Then we'll go to new Google Sites and we can paste in all those images in one go. You can resize the image with and without aspect ratio. If we want to make this image the same size as the other images we have on the page, we can click and drag. And as you can see, as we go to resize, we can crop on the fly. If we want to maintain the aspect ratio, we press shift on the keyboard and it always keeps the same aspect ratio. cropping and zooming. As you can see from these images, we can crop them very easily. But let's take a look at a better example of where you maybe want to crop an image. We're going to use one of our images stored in Google Drive. And we've pasted in this image. As you can see, this image is very long and broad. And for this particular example, we just want to highlight this young lady in front of the computer. As you can see, we can crop the image by just dragging one of the edges. Once we get the rough shape of the image that we want, we can then choose to highlight and zoom in on a particular part of the image. We do this using the crop tool. Once you've opened the crop tool, you can move around the section of the image that you want to concentrate on, and you can even zoom in so you can see just the part of the image that you want to see. Use the tick when finished editing, and there you have your image all cropped and ready to go. Even though it's cropped, you can still then resize the image to be bigger if you wish, and that cropping is maintained. You can make an image a link. Just select the image, use the link tool. You can either pick other pages or typing a web address. Images will automatically intelligently resize for mobile responsive views. If we look at our new Google site and we look at the preview, the preview tool allows us to view, view the site in various different formats. This is the mobile view. As you can see, the images intelligently wrap and also the image that we've cropped takes up the full width as it's a large image and we can see it well. In different mobile views, the image will again grow as necessary. We can also add alternative text to an image. Again, click on the image, use the three dot more menu, and then you can add alternative text. Google Sites is very new, and so at the moment, images have some limitations. There's no vertical snapping and only horizontal. Let's see what we mean. If we're looking at a group of images and we want to make the images bigger, it will always snap to the horizontal width. You can't make an image snap to the vertical width. It'll just go wherever you decide to let go. This would be an, a great enhancement to make your features, to make your images more accurate. There's no vertical grouping. As we mentioned in our section video, you can't take an object and group it underneath another. It's always going to be sat alongside. This is particularly um, noticeable if you want to create an effect like this. As you can see, we have an icon for this particular text item, and we've had to put these images in a completely different section. When you go to view this in the mobile responsive view, you'll find that this linearizes in a way which you weren't necessarily expecting. We get all the icons first, and then we get the text boxes. So the icons have now got disconnected from that associated text. There's no vertical alignment. 
to achieve that kind of look and feel of associating an icon with the text, we can do this in a different way. We can have just the icon on the left or right of that particular piece of text. But as you can see, this particular image, there's no way of adjusting where it sits vertically next to the text. It always goes to the top. This means that when you view the preview and mobile view, you will get uh, the correct linearization that you want. You'll get the icon with the piece of text. But there's, again, no way of getting rid of the extra space around the image because it's set, seen as an, in a different section. You cannot select multiple images. If you wanted to delete more than one image at once or move more than one image around the page, there's no way to achieve this. You've just got to do one at a time uh, to make that happen. Finally, you cannot insert images in a text area, only in a section. If I wanted to copy this particular image and add it to this particular section, if I try and paste, nothing happens. If I click on the section, I can paste, but then it puts it in to a completely different section by itself. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful. And you can find more new Google Sites videos at stiegel.com.